How's it going everyone? It's Kate here and today I will be starting off some more seeds that we or that I bought from the Real Seed catalogue. Before I start showing you um, the, the two next seeds um, I'll be planting, I wanted to do a quick little update on the red ursa kale that we planted in the last episode. Um, if you haven't seen that yet, you can uh, click the link up there and um, take a look at that. So here is the, the tray of red ursa kale. This over here is beetroot, so don't worry about that. But um, it's been a week since uh, they were planted and I'm incredibly happy with uh, the germination rate. So it looks like everything has, has germinated with the exception to that little one over there. Um, it's not to say that it won't germinate, you know, the, the seeds might be a bit lower down or something like that. So that something could still pop out. But um, I'm really, really pleased. So, um, you know, so, some of the, the little uh, uh, cells have more than one plant in. Like there's four there and three there and two there. What I'll do is I'll wait till they get a bit bigger and stronger and then just come and cut them cut them down. You know, I just want to have one per cell basically before we plant them out. So today I'm going to be planting uh, mustard greens and there's two different varieties. Uh, the one is Osaka purple, uh, which is quite hot. And feather... Sheru Li Hong Chinese leaf mustard. <clears throat> um, I'll, I'll do a tray or two each of those and um, tell you a bit about them. I'm going to do the exact same with the, that I did with the red ursa, ursa kale. Basically, just going to plant them out in seed trays, and when they get a bit bigger, I'll transplant them uh, somewhere else. Okay, so uh, just a bit about um, these two types of mustard greens um, the feather mustard greens. Is that one over there? Um, it's an early maturing heirloom mustard green from China with big green ruffled leaves and a green stem. It has good flavor and excellent texture. It's hot and spicy when raw and tasty and mild when cooked. Um, so you sow those from July to halfway through September and you get a crop all the way from August through to December. So that should be quite good um, for greens during the winter. Um, and the Osaka purple mustard greens are these it says for cooking so I'm guessing that they're mainly used for cooking it's a deep purple mustard green with amazingly huge oval leaves that are purple and green with white veins um, they make a big rosette and eventually a heart as well it's cold hardy so after midsummer for use over winter so anywhere from it says here sort of halfway through June all the way till October you can sow it so I'll probably do a few successions of that one um, it is particularly vigorous variety growing on well growing on well even in less than ideal weather and very cold hardy standing on into winter i'm going to do um a, a tray of these in a 40 cell seed tray and i'll do one of each and then um the osaka purple i'll probably do another tray in a couple of weeks time so we have plenty of that to go around <music> So that's it, um, a tray of each. Uh, just like last time, I used just a, a standard sort of um, seed and, and potting soil mix. Um, I will give you an update on how they are doing on uh, the next uh, video we do about seeds. Okay, so in terms of uh, keeping seed for uh, mustard greens, um, it says mustard, green, mustard greens are Brassica jun, juncea, jun, I don't know how to say that, um, and will not cross with most other garden brassicas except for other mustards. Allow a, good, allow a number of good plants to flower, collecting the seed when the pods are brown and dry. Um, oh, notes on Osaka purple. It's very easy to grow and very cold hardy standing in the window. Yeah, so it, it, those seem pretty straightforward to to keep seeds. So I might give it a go again. You know, I'm not going to guarantee that I'll do it because um, it's just another thing to think about. That you know, I don't want to kind of overcomplicate things. Uh, what I'll do anyway is um, I'll make sure I plant them in separate places in the garden. So if somewhere in the polytunnel, I might plant. If the one kind is in the polytunnel, I'll plant the other kind somewhere else. Um, that just does give me the option to keep the seed if I do want to. Because at least you know they won't be together and they can't cross. 
so that's it um, for that variety of seed today um, again if you want to watch um, the initial video I did on seeds you can click the link up there um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and I will see you guys um, in the next one where we will be planting I don't know Next time we will be planting um, Kailan stem broccoli and possibly some red iceberg lettuce. I'm not 100% sure yet. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a, a like and share this video with your friends and family. If you want to carry on watching this series of videos um, doing reviews on heirloom and real seeds, hit the subscribe button now and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good week.